Hey, what's up, everybody? Alf here with some more uh, Ultra League Premier Classic. It's still a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, GBL for you to enjoy. Uh, couple Next couple sets you're going to see are be playing with a new toy. Uh, you might know that I have kind of a kink for uh, shiny Pokemon that hit League Caps. So that's 1,500 and 2,500 exactly. I made a new one. It's a Blaziken. I needed to upgrade my Blaziken desperately. My uh, Ultra League Blaziken was not an impressive specimen. Um, unless you consider like 15, 15, 12 impressive. I mean, it kind of is in its own way. Uh, but we're battling here. We're battling with a double counter team uh, with Obstagoon and Blaziken. Meant to be core breakers. Meant to be good against Walwing and Trev. Um, and sort of give us that plan. So uh, we do that. We do also have a triple counter team in here. Thanks to a viewer request. So I hope you enjoy these battles. I hope you're enjoying the Ultra League rotations. And I hope you're ready for Sandshrew Day coming up in a couple days. Let me know uh, what you're hype about. And uh, I hope you enjoy these battles. See you next time. All right. You ready? We're just going to try this. I'm not confident that this is going to be good. Yeah, I have all the gumshoes. I did it a while ago. It's not a good one, but I just picked one at random. XL rares are not, no. They, that was only for that event. They uh, lingered longer than they were supposed to, but they're no longer around. All right, Crobat, Swampert. Hey, we found that Swampert we were worried about, right? We found the Swampert we were worried about. So the downside for us, obviously, is this is not a great matchup. It is a uh, straightforward matchup, though, in so much as that they don't really have a lot of good options, right? They can just throw Hydro Cannons at us. And we are a bulky boy, just as a heads up. I have some concerns, uh, but like the real answer is that I can tank two of those. And they have a hard time killing us. <laughs> because mud shot, right? So what we're actually going to do here, one, they have to throw again, and that's fine. Um, I'm just going to tank this, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a running start with Blaze again. With the two debuffs in, they don't, they're not going to get off another Hydra Cannon. And uh, now if it's like, ooh, okay. So it's Charizard, Dragon Breath Zard back here. Okay. Interesting team so far. I wonder if it's a Venusaur. Uh, this is a Dragon Claw. We're just gonna tank this. Or should be a Dragon Claw at least. Blast Burn would be bad. Nope, it's a Machamp. Uh, that's so. This is the opposite of what we want to see. There's just nothing on this team we can do anything about. Um, I should be, I shouldn't be night slashing either. Yeah, this team is. You come out here hunting Wall Rain Trev, and what we get is uh, very, very bad for us. Yeah. I mean, I assumed that one of their back mons would be a wall rain or a Trev, and instead what we got is none of those mons, right? This game isn't over, but it's going to require some things to go our way here at the end. And unfortunately, I don't think that I can one-shot the Zard even with... Like, if I had, like, a different move, if I had a uh, Brave Bird, it's possible. But, uh... No, nah, and Dragon Breath's gonna get us. Yeah. Okay. I, I think that's what you need, Dumbs. I don't think you get... I mean, there's maybe an argument that what you want is Blaze Kick and, like, Brave Bird. Fubat, that, that joke has been going around since like 2014. Uh, they both have dumb hair. Yeah. But that that's not new to me. <laughs> I I didn't even play Sun and Moon and I've seen the gumshoes Trump picture. I would have never gotten to Stone Edge, Ophidian. That's the problem. I would have never gotten to Stone Edge. All right. Well, that was not the team we wanted to see, right? 
So let's see if we can find a team that we like better than that. Let's see if we find a team we actually can beat. Yeah, sorry, bud. That You are not the first to notice that. It has been going around since... God, when did Sun and Moon come out? Like 2013? Sylveon. Well, we found the Charmer in the lead. That is the place we want the Charmer. All right, it's a Poison Jab Muck. Okay, Poison Jab Muck's a little awkward. Uh, 2017, okay. This has to be an Acid Spray from there, right? Like, I guess they could Dark Pulse me. No, it's Acid Spray. The problem here is just the amount of damage we're going to take from... Uh, I think I actually am in a Night Slash him, though. A boost would be very, very nice. And Cross Chop damage is not very good. So I think we fish for the boost here. We also get a shield, so like, and we get the boost. Let's go. Fishing. We gone fishing, friends. We've gone fishing. I really hate shielding an acid spray, though. I really hate shielding acid sprays. I mean, for poison jab muck, I actually think acid spray is uh is not a bad choice. Uh, the downside here is that the Sylveon is... All right, our opponent is conceded. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. Why not? I mean, the boost doesn't matter terribly much. I guess it probably bails us out of that fight a little bit, but, you know, at the same time, at the same time... Yeah. We'll take it. We'll take that uh we'll take that dub. I wonder if I should go to Blaziken there. I should probably go to Blaziken there and not Obstagoon, right? I guess possible to hop but Oh hey, Trev in the lead. Okay. Trev in the lead. I have played this fight a lot. Uh, okay. Canto Muck is actually a problem. I think what we're going to do here, as much as I really dislike this, is that we're going to go here. Primarily, I know it resists and stuff, but primarily because of the fact that uh, they have to non-stab Thunder Punch me to death, and that's really not going to be a winning line i did throw the poison fang because i wanted the extra damage here i do think we probably need it yeah kmuck is a is a very good core breaker um it's often not as good as like as it looks straight up yeah but uh i don't actually know if our blaziken kills this thing prof slade that's the problem. If you meant just stay in with the... Uh... The nice thing here is I don't actually care about the Crobat. So what we're going to do here um, is now we're going to come in here and just get a running start. Because if there's a wall rain on the team, obviously we'll care. And if all they can do is bring the Trev in now, like, yikes for them. Yeah, so Trev. I mean, it tells me that their Bakmon is good against, uh, good against Crobat and bad against, uh, fighters, probably. Probably a wall rain. The question is, uh, I don't actually think we can kill this thing with a, uh, I don't think a blaze kick kills it. So I think we're going to blast burn it just to make sure it dies. And then do we have a wall rain? No, they have an Ampharos. Uh, we shield and we uh, blast burn this too. 
Yeah. Blaziken, Blaziken is um is doing work. I'll tell you that. Bye bye. GG's. You love the uh you love the running start. You love the running start. Blaziken do hit very hard. Yeah, that's kind of thing. I just don't know that um I don't know if we kill well if we had Brave Bird there to hop, I think we lose. Um remember Ampharos resists Brave Bird. <laughs> I guess we just we just we probably just blaze kick right and it's probably okay I don't know if I'm underestimating blaze kick this was something that happened um the last time I tried it is I wasn't really willing to just throw blaze kicks at stuff and I think that like unless it's a guaranteed shields down play I should probably be blaze kicking things I seem to recall that like it's just way more efficient to do so. And for the most part, you're doing enough counter damage alongside of it that people be shielding if they're shielding, regardless of what you're doing. All right, Crobat into a Trevenant again. Let's go. You love to see it. Trevenant is a Mon we like to see in the lead. Our whole team is good against Trevenant. <laughs> All right, so awkward thing about this matchup. Uh, they don't have to shield. I mean, I don't have to shield either. It's a stab fire punch. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's better than you, it's better than you think. Um, I've played this matchup a lot. So here's what's going to happen. Our opponent is going to lag out. Uh, opponent? Oh, no. Oh, no. I think our opponent be dead. They, uh, their game has, their game has crashed. They are, I'm getting the full, the full experience of their game being crashed. Is this going to come back or are we just, hmm. I don't know if we are going to, uh, right. If it in, yeah. Like if you're judging fire punch by what dust clops does, that's, uh, that's a problem. That's really unfortunate that uh, this thing is. Yeah, at this point, I mean, all right, well. I mean, we take these, but it feel it's a little bit feel bad. I'm feeling pretty good about this matchup. What's their last Mon? If it's like a wall rain, then we were going to win this game anyway, but. No, so they were on double fire. I mean, we're going to win this game anyway, I think. Although, uh, I can definitely see a scenario here where, uh, what ends up happening is that they match their, they match their Blaziken on our Obstagoon and we can't win. Like, that's actually a real thing that could have happened in this game, unfortunately. Um, because when you think about it, well, our opponent may have also quit C-Mags. There's a number of things that could have happened in that game. It's hard for me to know without seeing what my opponent was doing to know what happened there. Right? They may have quit. They may have forced closed the app. Their phone may have died. They may have gotten a phone call. Right? We have literally no idea what happened there. So I won't, I'm not going to blame that one on Niantic because I have no idea. Usually when somebody lags out, they don't stay in like that. Right? They would at least try and fight it out. So I have no idea. I have no idea if that's a, if that was a Niantic lag out, if that was a in person lag out. Maybe their phone exploded. Maybe they pooped their pants. I don't know. You have no idea. Um, we'll play. Uh, we'll play one more with it. What was I gonna say? I had something. I had something. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna run this. Uh, I'm gonna run this goon sir fetched Blaziken team because I can. Uh, so Obstagoon is the lead. Sure. What is my Surfetched on, by the way? I think my Surfetched is on the double. It doesn't have Brave Bird, which is a little bit of a shame. But I think if, as a safe swap, this is the moveset I'd want anyway. Um. So, yeah, we lose to a single Charmer. That is true. So, thanks, Omega. It's all right. We'll try it. Um, What was I going to say? 
so the way that that game, the way, I'll, I'll try and play it out, Dahapa. You never know. Um, the way that that game played out or could have played out um, is so if there are no shielding and they throw a shadow ball at me, I'm not shielding it. Because the play pattern there, if they no shield, is that they cannot get two shadow balls. And I will not die to their moves. So what happens there is they go shadow ball. I farm. They can only get to a seed bomb, which isn't lethal. And then we come out of the matchup with a charge move. And I always take that. The problem there is that with their mon coming in as a fire type, I'm more inclined to use Blaziken there. And if I'm not careful... And I let that matchup kind of go down. We're starting to get into a world where we're just lining up our back two Mons. And if it's Blaziken against my Obstagoon, I'm going to lose that game. So I think there was a good chance that we could have lost that game uh, in a way that is unexpected. If we, knowing their whole team, we just protect our Probat and we win that game easy. Um, but there's definitely a chance to lose that game. All right, we'll try this. Uh, we'll try this triple fighter team. Um, and hope to God we don't see a charmer. Pretty please. Pretty please. No charm. It would be quite charming to not see charm. We've seen one charmer so far. We've seen one so far. Wall rain. Uh, <laughs> that's not charm. Okay, that's a good start for us. Our whole team is quite excellent against wall rain. Honestly, I'm I'm actually considering switching to see if I can bait out something problematic. Like, no shit. I'm considering tanking a uh, a move here and then just switching. Obstagoon is more valuable in many ways than our backline ones. So I think what we're going to do is actually pivot and be like, yo, what's up? That's probably true. Who knows? Yeah, it's probably true. It's still just possible to lose that game. It is definitely possible. Okay. Show me what else you have. Oh, they have a Gallade. Well, Gallade is a little bit more of a problem, right? But I'm glad that we have the Gallade here. And not... Because uh, we get to put Obstagoon on it. Which is significantly better than uh, our other options. And we're up a shield. So at least I can um, hopefully ride that. Although they'll switch out here, right? Oh, you know, the one HP close combat feels pretty bad, man. It feels pretty bad, man. It's fine. What's your last Mon? It's Trevenant. Okay, well, good news. Good news for us to an extent is that uh, we're going to be able to get our shield back. And we just need... I mean, Seed Bomb isn't going to kill us anyway. Like, part of me wants to go to uh, Blaziken here just to show him what's up. But, like, Seed Bomb... <laughs> we'll just show him what's up anyway. <laughs> it didn't kill, so I was like, yeah, let's just eat the Seed Bomb that they're probably jamming on. If they get to throw it. I'll take it. GG's. All right. Got to win. Hooray. Redemption, I guess. Our only loss was to that team that was running no wall reigns or trevs. Hey, Kranidos. Dope. Turns out the uh, the multi counter team is really good against wall rain and trev, and it's not very good against the rest of the meta. <laughs> <laughs> 